guys, it's Jen and I'm back with another layout for Felicity Jane. I'm using the Happy Day Kit designed by Sue's Fish today. And I wanted to show you, I'm creating this layout of these school photos of my daughter. This is her, these are her kindergarten photos. And so I just wanted to create a little layout about that. Um, actually, I think these are preschool. I better check. Actually, no, I just remembered. They are preschool. They're for sure preschool. And so what I'm going to do is um, create this layout. Her school album, which I've just recently started, is 9 by 12. So I'm going to cut this paper down to 9 by 12. I pulled a bunch of items from the kit that I think I'm going to use here. And um, we call my daughter Sweet Pea, so I thought I would probably use that. Um, we'll see. And then I have the stamps and um, a bag that I might incorporate. I'm thinking I might use some of these letters, um, some tags, and then I'm definitely using these puffy stickers. Now every Friday we try to show you tips and tricks for um, that day, and so today I'm going to focus on coloring these awesome puffy stickers, and so what I'm going to do is color them with alcohol markers. So you can use Copic markers. I also have a set of um, these Shinhan touch markers, which are also an alcohol-based marker. Any alcohol-based marker will work for this. So um, I don't know if I'll use these colors or not, but I definitely am going to color a few of these. I might leave some of them white. I love the white as well. So that's my plan, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, this is a 9 by 12 album that I have my daughter's school stuff in, and I'm just going to trim this paper down. I want a little more of the yellow to show, so I'm trimming a little bit off the side of the pink, and then I will trim it to 9 inches. And I'm going to end up using that black branding strip on my layout as well. I just really like the contrast that it gives to this all these light colors. So now I'm just trimming down these photos, and I'm going to use two. They're obviously all the same photo. That's how school photos go, right? But I'm going to use two just to take up a little bit, uh, like to bulk it up a little bit, and just because I have a lot of them. Um, and sometimes it's fun to just put a couple. So there's where I put that branding strip on. At first I thought I would it would go on the right-hand side, but I end up moving it to the left. And now I'm just going to play around with a few things while I decide what I want to do exactly. So I grabbed some uh, wax paper and I'm going to put my title on and it's going to just say preschool cutie and it's going to go above my, above my photos. <laughs> Can't find words. Um, I'm using these polka dot alphabets that are in the Felicity Jane shop for the word cutie and it's going to rest on top of the smaller photo. So by using these two different sizes of photos, it lets me, it creates a little space between them and that's a good home for the word cutie. So now I'm wondering, I'm thinking about exactly how I want this layout to go and I thought it would be fun to incorporate this bag. I love glassine bags and they're super fun so I'm channeling a little bit of Sue's and I'm going to fill that glassine bag with some sequins. So what I'm going to do is dump these sequins out and I only want, I don't want the red ones or the purple ones. I just want the pink ones and the peachy colored ones and the white ones. So I'm going to painstakingly go through these and I will skip through most of that for you so you don't have to watch me. So after I sort all of these out, I'm just going to kind of dump them into the bag. I decided I wanted a few more so I'm seeing if it works better for me to sort them in my hand and it kind of does and it kind of doesn't and it's just kind of a pain. I should have just went ahead and left them in. It would have been fine but I was being a little bit particular about the colors here. So after I stick them in the bag I'm going to mount my photos on top of it and um, a lot of the sequins are going to get covered up so it's not going to it's going to be a very subtle detail and that's okay with me like I it doesn't matter if it doesn't show a ton but it's just I like those little details. I used a little piece of the striped washi tape that came in last month's kit. I think it was last month. It's just white stripes and I love that washi tape. Uh, and I'm just going to staple the word yippee, that's from the cut apart sheet, to the side of the bag and then I'm going to mount my photos on top. I'm using a little bit of iCraft adhesive tape to glue those down because it sticks better to the bag than regular adhesive. And then I'm just going to put the word cutie along in that space. So that will be, you'll see 
the sequins will peek out from behind the word cutie, but they're very subtle and not super noticeable, and that's totally fine with me. So now I'm going to play around with the uh, little border strips here, and I thought it would be nice to incorporate a couple more. And I thought that the black was very nice, so I was going to include some more black and white elements, uh, so it just has that nice contrast. So I cut the branding strip off this paper, and then I also cut a strip of it, and I put them all three there. And I decided that the one that was all doodly, that's one of my favorite papers in the kit, um, it just didn't quite work for this. And I'm going to use a lot of the doodled uh, little flowers on this page anyway so it ends up working out to just use the branding strips so don't throw those away they are awesome for borders and little layers like that so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuck to my layout I decided to move it down toward the bottom of the layout uh, just for something a little bit different and to the left and um, I'm gonna put my title down I'm gonna fiddle with that a little bit to try to get it straight my uh, photos aren't straight and so um, my title wasn't straight and so I'm going to play around with it a little bit and I don't think in the end that it is still straight but it works good enough for me. I, I got it to where it didn't bother me so that is fine and I love those puffy stickers. They're so great. So now I'm playing around with the idea of using some tags and I am going to use I'm, to balance everything in, in the bottom left, I'm going to put a couple of tags at the top right, and that's where my journaling is going to eventually live. So um, I pulled out that little heart that's, it's got etched stripes in it. You can kind of tell in the close-up photos at the end, and I'm thinking of using that. And then the little uh, flower that you see there is from the cut apart sheet, and then I'm also using some of the vellum little uh scalloped edge circles and I'm going to make those into flowers as well. So what I'm doing to make those little vellum scalloped circles into floral pieces is I am layering two of them together. I'm kind of scrunching up the top one and then I am using some Copic markers and I also have the Shinhan Touch alcohol markers um, and I'm coloring in some of the circles on the puffy sticker alphabet set and I'm going to use those for the centers of my flowers and I'm just using some glue dots to stick all of those layers together. They're actually Zots um, from Thermoweb and so I just put the bottom layer then I kind of scrunch up the top layer then I put the circle on that I've colored with the markers and scrunch up the top layer a little bit more. You'll be able to see those really well in the close-ups. So I'm creating kind of three areas of embellishment down to the right of the photos, above the photos with the title, and then up to the right with the journaling. So I thought this would be a fun way to kind of denote the school year. I'm stamping the words September and May in um, just in some black Allie Edwards ink, and then I'm going to stamp the year right below them, and those are planner um, stamps that you can find in the Felicity Jane shop and I'll link to all available products in the description below but I really like the way that looks especially with the year underneath. I tried to stamp a line between the months but then I ended up just using a pen to kind of color and fill that in. So now I'm going to work on my embellishing and I'm going to use some of the cut apart or some of the puffy flower pieces and some of the flower pieces from the cut apart sheet. So I'm using kind of this, um, I think it's like a it's something green, but it's a really yellowy green for the leaves, the same color that I use to color in the, some of the circles. And I'm using a super, super light peachy color, a Copic marker. I'll link to these below um, so that you know exactly what colors I used if you are interested in the exact colors. But I just colored in the puffy uh, flowers with that and I really like the way those ended up looking. I think they're super pretty and again you'll see a nice close-up of those at the end. I'm going to leave the the flowers from the cut apart sheet just white, just black and white and I like the contrast that gives. So there's that one and now I'm going to work on the cluster above my title so I'm going to kind of play around and see how I want that to look. I decided to move the acrylic heart down to the bottom and I'm just going to use one of the floral puffy stickers along with one of the um, little scalloped pieces up above my title for that cluster. So now I am looking for my pen 
because I want to outline that tag. Everything kind of has a black outline and I'm really liking what that does for the different pieces on the layout. And so I decided to outline that tag and I'm gonna go ahead and get those stuck down just using some you know, roller adhesive. Oh, I had to go and find my hole punch to punch the hole in the tag that came from the cut apart sheet. And I'm just using some crochet thread there to put some uh, strings in my tags. I really like to have my tags strung. <laughs> um, and so I almost always string them. So after I get those stuck down, I'm just gonna trim off the little pieces that are hanging off the side. And now I'm gonna work on the cluster that's gonna go up at the top. Maybe I'm gonna work a little bit more on the ones on the bottom. <laughs> um, oh, I'm gonna use my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to get that acrylic piece stuck down. And you can see that the leaves from the flower kind of dip down where, where the heart dips down, the leaves kind of nestle in there. And I always like doing that. You know that if you've watched my videos. So I colored in the center of the flowers with a darker yellow color, just so it stands out a little bit more. And now I'll work on the top cluster. Actually, I'm thinking, I, I'm really feeling like that, that middle cluster needs a little bit more weight to it. And so I'm thinking what else I can do. And I remembered that there was a little floral piece on the stamp set. And so I'm just gonna stamp it in black. And I just think that finish it off, fish, finishes off the clusters in such a good way. Um, it just fits in all of the little spaces that I needed it to, and it just made each little area of embellishment um, complete to me. So I stamped a few in the middle, one at the bottom, and then one at the top. And I really like the way that looks. So I'm thinking I wanna add another little floral piece up at the top just because I wanted to color, I wanted to have another colored uh, floral piece. And so I cut one of the floral pieces apart that had three flowers on it. and. Now it just has the two and it's kind of cut off at the top and I'm just going to color that in so there's a little bit more of that puffy sticker flower up at the top. And then I am going to, oh, I'm adding a little bit of extra adhesive underneath that bag. I just felt like it it didn't have quite enough. And then as I was doing that, I was thinking it might be fun to sprinkle a few of those little, um, they're almost clear, but not quite. They're little white sequins around, and so they add a very subtle detail, and I'm so I'm adding those um, in each cluster. So three in the top, three in the bottom, and then five on in the middle. And I like to do five in a larger cluster sometimes. So, um, oh, actually there are five at the top. It's just split between the two areas. So now I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my Oh, I'm thinking about hearts. I forgot I added the hearts. So I, I do add two hearts just in the space uh, to the right of my daughter's head there and colored those in. And now I'm gonna add my journaling. Um, and I'm just talking about, you know, where she went to school and um, how I couldn't believe that my daughter was in preschool and all of that kind of stuff. I was looking forward to school projects. That was my favorite thing I was looking forward to was her bringing home things she made at school. So I... I just wrote about that as well. One thing I did regret just a little bit was that I treated these tags as two separate tags. I wish I would have written across both of them rather than written on one and then written on the other, but that's okay. It's already done and I'm not changing it. So that's pretty much gonna finish off this layout. After I turned off the video, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more of that tape, that that kind of clear tape that came in last year, month's kit. And so I just added that in a couple places on the layout and you'll see that in the close-up photos at the end. So thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have gotten some ideas. I hope that you'll try um, coloring these puffy stickers if you have if you have Copic or alcohol markers. It's really, really cool. Um, Sharpie markers would work for this as well. So here are the close-up photos and I hope that you'll head over to FelicityJane.com to check out these awesome kits. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.